Yo, what is up, YouTube? So today, I have to go to the doctors, and as you know, I am not a big fan of doctors at all. I swear to God, if I ever die one day, I do not want a doctor to like take their thing like this. Like, I don't want that. That would be worst pain ever. I'd rather die and be happy and go to heaven. So it's 2:22 right now, and I'm out here in my new home, the new place out here, enjoying myself, trying to figure out life and figure out what I want to do for this YouTube channel. Just a little hint about me, I love doing dares. So if you ever want to comment down below, down here, and type in a crazy dare that you want me to do, go right ahead. I'll go make a vlog and I'll do those crazy dares that y'all people tell me to do. I am not kidding, I'll do any dare. I have done the craziest dares in my life, so please do that. Back to what I was saying about what I want to do for the YouTube, is I just want to do oh, the most savagest stuff and vlog my life and just have fun with it and do all the crazy things in life there is to do and just be me. I know my first vlog was probably not the best vlog, but I promise you guys, the vlogs will get better. They will get better. As I was watching over my vlog yesterday, I was like, damn, this looks pretty sad. Like, I feel like you do better than this. Then again, I was like, hmm, this is my first vlog. So it, it can be lame. It can be good, bad. Who cares? It's my first one. So hopefully the rest of these vlogs that I'm going to do will get better. I have about an hour and 40 minutes to do whatever I want. So let's go say what's up to some of my friends. So, I'm on my way to my friend Jose's house right now, aka the swagger. He's a little handicapped, but you know what? It don't matter. He's still chill. He's cool. Even though he is crippled, he still wants to be out there and be friends and do shit. And last night I was at a party and he was like, bro, I want to fight you. Like a play fight, but he was like, I want to box you. Even though he's crippled, he still wants to be out there and to box you. Let's go say what's up to my boy. What's up from the boy Jose? They call me JJ in the streets. My real name is James. AKA the swagger. AKA, I don't, don't fuck with me. Okay, so me and my friend Jose, we're gonna sneak back here and go shoot. We're not allowed to be back here, so this is like kind of illegal, top secret. But we're gonna go back here and shoot some guns. Find some bottles and shoot them. Maybe a couple squirrels to shoot. So right now we gotta find some bottles to shoot. I think we found some. Right here. Got a bottle right here. About to shoot this bitch up. Found some more bottles. These are like bottle heaven back here. Damn. Look, like people have already been shooting out here. All these broken bottles. D. Gonna find a place to set the bottles up. So we can shoot them. Be out here in the woods. Collecting bottles. From previous drinking parties. Yeah. Got some Bacardi. Some whatever this is. You know if you find a lot of beer bottles. Out here in the woods, someone's been out here drinking. Freaking Bud Light everywhere. Bacardi. Budweiser cans. <clears throat> These bitches are everywhere. About to have me a, a little drinking party. Oh, <laughs> I still got beer in it. Ugh. We just got all these bottles right here. Damn. We're about to get this gun and take that shit. We have more guns right back there. Let's shoot them.
miss. Ooh, you suck! Okay, I'm gonna try to aim for one of the bottles over there. I'm gonna get him. Ooh. Boy, damn. That bitch. Now, can you blow the top off and only? Yeah, I can. Oh, hell yeah. Bacardi bottom. Now that down was shutters. That one's hard to shatter. Yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. Look at that. I'm gonna get that King Cobra right there. I'm gonna go for that Bacardi bottle. Ooh, it's in here, but I got one of them. <laughs> Just come over. The world's counting on you. I failed. You <laughs> failed your mission. Mission, mission failed. Dude, they're loaded around in there, right? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. So you guys, that was pretty lit. Shooting them guns and the bottles. Every time they hang it together, it's something crazy. Something different every time. It's crazy, bro, I'm telling you. He might be crippled or whatnot, but anything is stopping from doing nothing. The only reason why I had to go, because it's almost four o'clock, and you know what four o'clock is? Uh, uh, the freaking doctors! Uh, I don't want to go, but I have to. I don't know why, but I just have to go because when I go, my finger couldn't get affected or who knows. But my dad is coming to pick me up and he's taking me to the doctors, wherever that is. I'm gonna get checked out and then I might come back and Go back to my friend's hotel house and shoot some more ammo. So I will see you guys at the hospital or the doctor's office in one second. So guys, we're here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Um, I feel like I've been here too many times. I feel like I walk in here and they know me and that's not a good thing. So I'm gonna see how this goes. This is the building right here. I'll see you guys inside.
told you guys how the doctor thing went and how her thing went. So I walked in there, I was gonna vlog, and I started walking in there and I was vlogging, and the lady told me, you can't vlog here. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll turn it on. So after I got into the thing, we waited a good 10 minutes or so, and then she finally came in and... It's an, it's an old, old lady. Uh, she's like, oh, oh I, gotta, I gotta, get, gotta get my glasses. Look at that their finger there, son. So she's sitting there, she's looking at it, she's like, Hold on, let me see. I need my glasses. I can't see. Duh, that'd be a smart thing to do, obviously. So, she sits there, puts her glasses on, and they're on top of her head the whole time. So she puts her glasses on, and she's like, oh yeah. It's, it's, it's feeling really nice. It, it looks nice. It's getting feeling really nice. This one thing for you to do is to take it, because you have no feeling. Yeah, I have no feeling. And it's my finger. So, this right now, I cannot feel. I could do this. I can't feel that. So, she said the one thing to probably the feeling that since it is like hard skin right there to take it and like rub it on my finger and rub it on my shirt and rub it on my pants and whatnot so i'm gonna have to do that for the next couple of weeks to get feeling back on my finger but other than that it's going really good my finger's feeling good i do have a hairline a very thin hairline fracture in my um finger i will show you guys a picture of it it's gonna be right over there So yeah, that's how my doctor's appointment went. She, all she basically did was tell me that yeah, it looks nice. I mean, literally, I could have gone anywhere and got looked at or just looked at myself and like, yeah, it's healing pretty nice. It's no scars showing or the nails healing back pretty good. Because basically, that's all she told me. She was like, oh yeah, it's gonna heal back nice. It looks nice. It's gonna go back and it's gonna be like a normal finger again. And I was like, well, thank you, Captain Obvious. I could have done that myself. So the one thing that sucks about being a kid is that you have to do dishes and doing dishes is not fun. But thank God for cameras you have time lapse because you can time lapse them and get them done like that. Or I could just do that and snap my fingers and they'd be done. So I'm gonna try a transition. Hopefully this works, ready? Did it work? Cool. Thank you for watching my vlog today, guys. Make sure you go down and comment, like, and subscribe. That'd be a really heads up, a really good thing for me. Because I'm trying to work up my views up to a, a thousand views, and that would be awesome. And one day, maybe a million, because then I can get a big YouTube plaque, which will be right here. So make sure you go down, comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out. I work with savages. Tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell them play that shit again, tell them that you like that. Like DJ turn it up.